I thought I would make an update video because this is no longer an HBOT plotter. This has now been converted into a Core XY plotter. And I'm thinking that this is probably around upgrades and side grades because is the Core XY belt layout an upgrade? I would say it's probably a side grade. For a machine of this size, and this is A3, it's arguable whether that's actually an upgrade or not. Um, the HBOT worked perfect for this size. However, for um, machines that are a lot bigger, where the stiffness of the arm is potentially going to be a little bit lower, potentially it would be a useful design to do. But I thought I'd give a quick tour of it to show which parts were different, and also to show one of the other bits, which is genuinely an upgrade, which is my new paper holding solution. But a quick tour, I'm going to start it running, and then we're going to see it going and we'll talk a little bit around it. So going to extensions, actually draw control, it's all set up and ready to go and we're going to plot this. These are versions of the Lorenz tractor which have been calculated to run at um, different positions and different angles. Um, it's all the same plot, but I thought I'd let that go while we're running and hopefully the noise isn't too objectionable. The idea behind this is that we've got a machine that in theory with Core XY is a lot stiffer, especially along this pen axis. Um, it's no longer reliant on these parts here to be the things which are holding it square because the tension on the belts does the same, which is potentially quite useful. But as I said, for this size of machine, I found things were actually relatively easy to keep square anyway, and I never found any accuracy problems, again, on this slightly bigger than A3 machine. For much bigger machines, and I know people have built much bigger machines, the same calculation is probably not there. And I've at least recommended to one person, at least, that probably they ought to be thinking about having something which is using Core XY instead of HBOT for a very large machine, because the stiffness probably is going to be better. There's a bunch of parts that get changed. This isn't all of them, it's just a thing. As you see, you change both of these um, pen arm top plates. The ones at the bottom um, can stay the same. On the machine, broadly, things which are orange are original, and things that are grey have been replaced. So you see a lot of the top of the side arms, yeah, those have to get replaced. Um, going down onto here though, the pen carriage is almost entirely new. Um, the pen lift, some parts of it are new, but the, um, the pen carriage, yes, that's pretty extensively changed. As are the return rollers. The return roller mounts, these here, because we have to have two belts, those are effectively completely different now. But as you can see, the feet are all pretty much the same. These uh, motor mounts, they are also the same, but the difference is there have to be some spacer plates. There's one on that side, because this is the lower belt. And there's actually two on this side for the upper belt. This makes life a little bit more complicated. You have to get the belts correct but and the bolting done properly, but it's broadly the same. So it's not a complete reprint. Quite a substantial part of it does have to be reprinted, but certainly not all. The precision, as you can see here, this is doing some pretty closely spaced lines. The precision is pretty good, but the precision always was very good. And so it's not too much of a challenge to say that this is, again, as I said, at best a side grade. However, one of the bits which is really, really pure upgrade is this. This is an electrostatic notice board. Um, the brand is Justic, and paper just sticks onto it. This whole black surface pretty much appears to have some conductive, very slightly textured pattern. You can just about see when the light hits it. Over this side by the paper, there's a very slight texture. I tend to use fairly thick paper, so it's not that much of a problem, but I have heard people say that that can transfer onto plots if you're not careful. But it just works. You just put a piece of paper on it, and it sticks. Um, it uses four batteries. I think they're double A's. Um, it says they last months, and actually my experience is that that's... Ooh, big move. <laughs> that's pretty much the case. 
you can expect these things to last, as I say, at least, I think this was about a month ago, no sign of them running out. It uses, as it appears, basically zero power. And so this is just stuck down onto the plotter baseboard and I can just hold paper. I don't need tape, I don't need magnets. There's nothing that I need to hold it down. It basically just stays where it's put. Um, the size of the board, I think it was a mini standard. The size of the board is such that I can plot anything that this machine can do. You might think that this gets in the way, but actually because of the travel limits of the machine, it kind of doesn't. The, um, it ends up with this part underneath the pen carriage, but that means the pen is still clear. This is about as far down, and for this machine, this, I think it's approximately two foot by one and a half foot, um, is almost perfect for this machine. I mean, it's spookily good of almost exactly the size that I would have needed if I had actually requested it and had it made special. So overall, I thought I'd do the update. Is it actually a really, really good upgrade? No. Core XY, for if you're doing a three size, Core XY is fine. Arguably, it looks cooler, but it's not really that much different. But for a bigger machine, definitely worth thinking about. And because the machine's modular, it should make sense to be able to do this more or less whatever size you would like. Um, going to need a few bits more belts. Um, the bolts are slightly different to fix things together, but overall, it seems to work. Anyway, I'm not going to let this plot run for the whole video, it's just an example.